Hello everybody, welcome back to How I Get Diamond Ring with the Tangnomancer build that beats BT Luck Bomb Groovekeeper builds. We are rocking with 2 Ruby Chongs and Daggers for that stun dagger action. The Snake Serpent, 2 Toads, and 1 Bloodbird for that high sustain 650 HP tanky bruiser. Tech plus lovers, white eyes, hollow fires for that burst DPS, buffs and debuffs. Neko to boost godly weapons spe attack speed. Platinum card is a nice touch on this beautiful kick. Two oil lamps for scaling damage on our ruby chunk. Heart of darkness for the defensive gem slot. Amethyst to reduce enemies healing and stealing buffs and boosting HP for more tankability. Magic Staff for the free DPS and scaling damage. Supposed to be a Serpent Staff. Pamperic and Mana Potions for more mana and sustain. If I were to redo the run, I would probably buy daggers with more flush of pestilence or blood amulet and deck of cards early game unfortunately i couldn't find any flux for serpent staff also i would like i will make sure to replace lovers and white eyes with hollow fires at the start of the deck instead of at the back to get that chomp hit asap so that chunks can start stun dagging with higher dps earlier Due to the space constraints, I won't be able to buy a Karmer or Marmer for defense, which would aid my stuff's mana usage. Jimbo would have been a perfect addition for my beat for the added burst. Any additional debuffs I could throw in my force would be nice. Dark Saber would be a great alternative for Serpent Staff. Vampot, however, is not a great option. But it's a nice extra damage and heal. Vamp helps with the mana, the daggers. I'm lacking a lot of mana gain, and Spectral Dagger is simply a bad call with minimal damage returns, as magic stuff needs mana badly, especially at the early game, and able to scale even more damage in the long term. So, for these uh, cuts plus Ruby X build. You can go both ways. You can go the snake route or you can go the curse dagger route. For the snake route, you want to get um, white eyes cards plus dark saber ingredients. So ice dragons have two sockets. Dark saber has two sockets as well. You will need light saber plus Corrupted Crystal or alternatively you can get Rapier with one socket or Dancing Dragon with two sockets plus pets such as Toads or Wuppertinger Uber plus you can't find any Pestilent Pots plus Din uh, Lamb plus Flute which is optional this will allow you to build the Luck Blind Frost Tank Venomancer, meaning you choose the Snake as your subclass. On the other hand, if you find more uh, Hollow Fires cards, which will result in Ruby Chunks that give you two sockets plus daggers, and you need to find Pestilent Pots to make a Poison Dagger plus Serpent Staff you need to find 1 Mana Orb plus Broom plus Pestilent Pot which will give you 1 Socket or, or alternatively you can use Dark Saber 2 Sockets which is an alternative but highly it's not that recommended plus no pets plus found uh, Bastion Pots 
plus fanfare so this will give you the heat poison stun deck hex blade build uh, choosing curse dagger as a subclass right please enjoy the rest of the video Save Can do damage. What is thirty eight power? Stun. Where's my dagger? Where's my dagger? Dagger. Where's my dagger? Dagger. Reach on the man. health <laughs> I got more health 
health, bro. What's up? What's up? You what, mate? You what? What's good? <laughs> What's good, man? Bro? Come to my gameplay. Bring Venom and so. everybody doing Pestilence 50 That's so big Get chomp Get chomp
total is like 22 what the heck we have 619 mm, very cool very cool look at this serpent this guy found a flask I can still have found a flask that is so sad so sad Jamie looking actually I'm so high HP I'm angry the DPS is about 65 it's about 68 that's so good it's my healing pretty good just suppose 
Thanks for watching. Do you think BT Luck Bomb Groovekeeper build can beat this Techno Mancer build? Comment below. Please like and sub for the Algos, and I'll see you all next time. Adios.